update. Finally got the uh, V160 gearbox out of the Supra. Um, that was a pain in the ass to do. And uh, I don't think I ever want to do that again. The next stage is to put in the HDT six speed transmission that I have on the table. Before I do that, I'll have to just fit uh, the new bell housing along with the gearbox and then just measure from the um, output flange to the diff and send those measurements to uh, direct shaft shop um, and they will make me a new carbon fiber one um, and when it arrives then I'll fit it in and then install the new DCS twin plate that I have in the box there. Apparently this thing can hold up to or a bit more than a thousand wheel horsepower. So what my brother and I did uh, last week was uh, install the uh, twin plate clutch in there, as you can see. We've just uh, fitted the uh, bell housing and the trans and basically everything except the uh, drive shaft because it hasn't arrived yet from America. And just to figure out where all these little cables, like basically the uh, gearbox temp sensor and the gearbox position sensor, where it can sit and sort of get out of the way of the, the drive shaft because you wouldn't want it to be sort of um, caught and ripped off. And I just put on this uh, shift linkage just to mock up and see how it all fits and it looks pretty good. Probably at the end of this month or maybe February or something the, uh, the new carbon tail shaft will arrive so once that comes then I can actually do the rest. And I went to NZ the other day and got these uh, new braided clutch lines made up fits into there and the other side goes into here so that should be adequate length and I've drilled a hole into the side of bell housing so it goes like that and it fits into this little concentric slave so yeah so it looks looks pretty straightforward so all I have to do for now is um, take this gearbox off again leave the, the bell housing on and then tighten up the um, like the front plate uh, bolts so the clutch will stay in there and then I measure the clutch fingers to the, the trans side of the bell housing and then just to work out how many of these shim plates I need to add to the concentric slave. So yeah, that should be easy. And then that's pretty much it. And then the rest of the stuff is just basically the wiring inside the, uh, the dash, which I've already done. And after that, once the shaft comes up, then we can actually start the car up and uh, take it for a drive obviously not using flat shift cut but just um, driving it normally to uh, sort of run in the gearbox oil and um, and see how it goes from there so now I'm going to show you the inside and what I've done so far with the, the shift lever and stuff so just got to climb up this uh, four wheel drive So this is the actual shift cut knob. So HDD obviously provide a little um, uh, a DT connector on all of their um, on all their sensors, so that's good. The only the only thing I have to do is wire up my own harness to connect into these points, and then connect to the actual um, ECU. Which so I've already done a harness. So you got your on this uh, lever. You have the lockout for the reverse so you just so if you press on this lever you can't without engaging this little pole so you press that one in and then you can pull and then push forward or back or whatever to engage reverse so I still uh, need to sort that out but that's after when everything's um, put in okay so I've now connected the Nexus software to the uh, the car and just to show you that um, all the inputs have been read by the Nexus software. So you got current gear, it's in neutral, um, flat shift, the load cell, 1.93 volts. Apparently that's within the ballpark. And gear roll voltage, uh, I don't really know what that is. So, yep. And so now I see, I'm not gonna touch flat shift obviously, that's for my tuner, um, but gear to deck, gear detection system i can't calibrate until i actually do go through the gears um, and neutral 
I assume this will be roughly in a neutral position, so I've already calibrated that one. Um, so now it reads as neutral. So yeah, it looks like my wiring's not too shit. It's okay. <laughs> 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 Oh, are you trying? Oh no, I'll, I'll just carry it. Yeah. 